ducks and turtles. We can also feast on small mammals like rabbits and even big animals. By the way, Susie here is 18 years old and it's time for her to head back home. A round of applause for American Bald Eagle. Thank you. All right, next up is one of those few birds that have keen sense of smell. Now I'm referring to a vulture, to be exact, a turkey vulture. So presenting to you, Titan. All right, the turkey vultures can be found from the tip of Canada all the way down to the tip of South America. And they are the most numerous vulture species in the world numbering way over 10 million in the wild. Now they are able to smell out food by flying low. It means they have picked up the stench of rotting meat. Well, big birds like king vultures, which lack these unique ability, will follow the turkey vultures lead. But it will be the job of the bigger vultures to tear open the carcasses because turkey vultures beaks are not strong enough to do the job. All right, one last look at Titan as he makes his way back to his trainer. Ladies and gentlemen, our Turkey Vulture. Thank you. All right, you have seen an eagle with phenomenal eyesight and a Turkey Vulture with keen sense of smell. Now, our next bird joining us shortly has an excellent sense of hearing. You know, in order to that, these birds hunt mostly during the night. So do you know which bird am I referring to? Owls! Owls that's right. Now, hiding among us, there is one. So take a look around you. Can you spot the owl? Oh, we have one that is right at the back with that gentleman right there. Now, I will need the help of everyone here to remain seated at all times and Try to be as quiet as possible because you are about to experience the owl's unique ability of silent flight. Wow, I'm pretty sure none of you heard him flap his wings. Oh, this is because owls have very soft ages at the tip of their feathers. So when they flap those wings, there isn't any sound at all. But that's not the only reason, there is another. And what do owls mainly hunt for at night? Anyone knows? Mouse. Rats. How about the smaller ones? Mice. Bingo. Now rats and mice. These are classified as rodents and rodents come out at night. Well, they have an acute sense of hearing so the owl has to be very quiet in order to catch a prey without making any sound at all. That is why they are also known as the silent hunters of the night. By the way, everyone, this is Belong, our Malay fish owl. Malay fish owls can be found in Southeast Asia, and this particular species has evolved to hunt for fish, making them very unique indeed. And by the way, he's a special bird to us because he was hatched and raised right here in the Jurong Bird Park. And Belong is already 10 years old. All right, now talking about owls in general, there are more than 200 species of owls that you can find throughout the world and all of them are able to do one common thing, turning their head all the way to the back. But the question is, how many degrees do you think an owl can turn their head? 260? 270? Anything else? 360? 180? 100, we got a lot of answers, you know what? Hold on, let's make it easier for everyone. Who thinks it's about 180 degrees? Raise your hands, 180. All right, there's quite plenty. All right, next, 270 degrees, 270. I believe pretty much the same. And last but not least, 360 degrees. Come on, don't be shy, 360. Awesome, and the correct answer is actually 270 degrees. <laughs> okay, let me just explain. 180 is what you and I can do. Turn our heads from the left to the right. The owls are capable of much more than that, but 360, not possible. That is a full circle. They might sprain their neck. So it is just 270 degrees. Nothing more than that. All right, Belong, it is time to head back as well. Off we go. All right, and besides being excellent hunters, the birds of prey are also known for their intelligence. And our next bird is going to show us how smart he can be. But before he comes out, I'm going to make sure that the stage is all set up 
and ready for him. So let me just quickly kick the basket back inside. Here we go. Awesome. Looks like all set and ready. So ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Raul, our Southern Karakara. Right over here, Raul. Good, good afternoon to you. The Southern Karakara is going to be found in South America. Right now, he'll be demonstrating to us his natural behavior. Oh, well done for your forging habits. These birds are very opportunistic. They have long legs and black claws, which enables them to overturn the rocks and sweep away the leaves easily. And of course, they do all this to look for food, like worms and even insects. Now, I have a tree bug right here. Or carefully what Raoul will do right now. Here we go. Oh, okay. using his beak and his feet to lift it up and turn it around. But if the insect were to take off and fly, well, these birds are able to make vertical flights into the air to catch it, just like that. But that's low. Let's try higher so everyone get your cameras ready. And here it goes. Wow, awesome job, Raul. Here we go. Come on. All right, by the way, Southern Caracas can be found in South America. And right now, he is... Uh, more, uh, he has been here for uh, more than t uh, 20 years. He's about 30 years old. That's right. Okay, Raul, you've done your job. It is time to head back inside. Ladies and gentlemen, now, Southern Karakara. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to have some fun. So right now, we need the help of a volunteer for our next segment. And I'm looking for a boy or a girl to help me out. So kids, this is your chance, any volunteers? Alright, you know what, there's a lot of people who wants to volunteer, so let's be fair, put your hands down first. We shall play a very simple game. Now, on my count of three, the first person to raise his or her hand up will be my volunteer. But like I said, only on my count of three, so listen to me carefully, okay? Here we go. One, two! I haven't said three yet. All right, let's do this once again. Remember, on my count of three, I'll be watching everyone closely. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, you know what? That was a really tough, but I believe the first person was the young man standing right here. Come on, bring him in. Let's give him a big round of applause. Right this way. Come on, let's stand right here in the center. Now, young man, would you like to tell us what is your name? Again? Samad. And where are you from, Samad? India, welcome to Singapore, Samad. Welcome to Jumba Park. Now, very important question. Are you afraid of birds? No, great. So, Samad, I will need your help for the segment. Hold on to the stick. Now, stretch your hand up. Excellent. So, I will be squaring a piece of food at the end of the stick, just like this, Samad. And what is going to happen is that the, there will be a bird coming from that side and he'll be snatching that piece of food. So you need to hold on to the stick as tight as you can. Do not move your hand or shake the stick. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, great. Now, gentle reminder for everyone here, please remain seated. Do not try to reach out or touch the bird. So, Saman, are you ready? Yes. If you are ready, then ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Rado, our brownie guy. And here we go. Look at him. Great snatch there. Wow. But you know what, Saman? Shall we do this once again? Awesome! So I'm going to screw another piece of food. And Prado, here he comes. Can he get it twice in a row? Yes, he can! Excellent job! And I believe someone did a really good job. He was really brave. Did you enjoy that? Yes, he did give me a high five then. Awesome! Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Alright, this way, so much. Thank you. 